Hey, what is going on guys? Horcrux here, and this is going to be a little bit different from what you guys are accustomed to seeing from me. Um, I'm... I just can't lie anymore, guys. Like, uh, this this is going to be a video, like, a, a, a YouTuber, content creator, putting their their thoughts out there, being vulnerable, you know, being human for a change, you know, God forbid. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to state the element, the, you know, the, the elephant in the room, guys. Like, Elder Scrolls Online isn't doing well. I, I'm, I'm not doing it well. Um, I don't think a lot of people are doing well. You know, ESO is, you know, something to do with it. You know, MMOs are just, we'll, we'll, we'll touch on that in a minute. But um, there's a lot of people not doing well, you know, you know, especially myself. And the more people I talk to, and it's just like everyone is, is just so depressed and so unhappy and, and so unfulfilled. You know, you know, men, women, it doesn't matter. I probably talked to like 20, 30 people in the past month. And, you know, everyone feels the same. I don't, I don't know why they have these fucking glasses on because I don't need them. They just make me look a little bit edgier. But um, I'm going to peel back the, uh, the veil in, in this video and really talk to you guys about some, some serious things going on um, with uh, just, just people in general and also the Elder Scrolls Online. It's going to be completely unedited. I'm just going to upload this to YouTube. It could be a 20-minute video. It could be an hour-long video. Um, I don't really know, but I have a lot that's been on my mind lately. And I just want to talk about it. And it's, it's simply it. This is going to be a moist critical video, okay? Um, the Elder Scrolls Online um, was critically acclaimed to be the PvP MMO. If you wanted to play PvP, this is it. This is for you, man. And I had a great time. You know, nine years ago, it was the best times of my life. It was the most fun I've ever had. But guys, it's the Elder Scrolls Online has devolved into a game that I do not even recognize anymore. Um, it's it it's not built for me. the The direction that it's going is not for me anymore. It's like having the, the high school girl girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, that was supposed to be your, your ride or die bitch the rest of your life. And, you know, as time goes on, you slowly grow apart and it gets to the point to where you don't even recognize each other anymore. And that's what the Elder Scrolls Online is for me and it is for a lot of people. Now, with that being said, uh, this is still a great game. If you're playing the Elder Scrolls Online, continue playing. If you're, if you're having fun, continue to play it. The reason I'm making this video is I'm not having fun anymore. And I haven't for a very long time. Everything is so bland. Like, like it's 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 just the direction it's going. Like, it it it, do, it doesn't apply to us veteran players anymore. This is a game meant for the you know casual nine to five dad who has a family who has a couple hours of play time they can just toss into a game and you know you know what have you. Um, I like to invest a lot of time in this stuff, and I like to see results. And it's 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 not built for 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 me anymore. And it's it's made me depressed because uh, I, I fall into I forget what what word it is, but when you invest so much time into something, you can't pull yourself away. You just keep going down the rabbit hole, and you try to make it work, and you try to make it work, and it's it's at that that, that realization point for me. That's that's the path I'm going down. Um, I love everyone I've met. This community is awesome. You you guys are fan fucking tastic. Bees knees, totes from goats, the bomb dot com, but I'm I'm just depressed. And ESO is a part of it. And a lot of it is just 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 sad in general. Like everything is just so tasteless. Like everyone I talk to is just having a bad time and like no one I talk to just seems happy anymore. They they just seem you know they're they're content. But they're not like, you know, living their dream. You know, they're 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 not doing anything. You know, they, they, they're they super proud of, you know, here I am 31, don't have a lot to show for it, and it, it, and it, you know, frustrates me, it makes me sad. It changed my lifestyle up, you know, eating healthier, um, exercising, doing things, you know, helping others, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Like, sometimes I just wake up and I have no motivation to, to do anything. I think that's true for, you know, a lot of men, you know, a lot of people out there, actually. And it's... I, I don't know what what's causing it. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but I I just don't know, guys. All I know is that I'm not happy. And um, the Elder Scrolls Online used to be like my safe place. That used to be where you would come home after work or school, and you would play this online video game, and you would just forget about your your worldly troubles. And it was like you know, your safe place. This is where you kind of be yourself. You know, meet new people, and it it, it was great. That was awesome, but I I don't get that feeling of immersion anymore. You know it. 
to me, like, like playing video games and, you know, all, all, all the things that I used to enjoy, I, I just don't anymore. I'm not sure how many people are watching this feel like that, but everything's just so bland and just so mundane and ugh, I, you know, maybe it's me. Maybe it's a mental problem. I mean, my whole family has, you know, mental issues, you know, bipolarism, you know, manic depression. I mean, it, it runs in the family, but um, it's never been this bad. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but um, I, you're you're not alone. You're you're not alone. You're you're always on people who care about you. Who who's who's going to be in your corner? And you gotta gotta stop lying. I'm not lying to other people, obviously that's bad. But you gotta stop lying to yourself. And that's what this video is kind of um, emphasizing is that. I'm tired of being on copium and saying, hey, I enjoy this game. I have 12,000 hours in, and of course I enjoy it, right? Um, I don't. And I have found the past week, I have not touched the Elder Scrolls Online, and I, I feel a little bit better. Um, I, I don't feel pressured. I, I, I don't feel sad. I don't feel anxious. But at the same time, it's like, okay, I have this YouTube channel, people who count on me, who love my content. and they're only going to watch the ESO content and it, it, I can't, it, it pains me to wake up every morning knowing I have to stream five, six hours a day and then produce a video, you know, three, four times a week on a game that I, I just don't like anymore. Um, it sucks. And the game, the, the path that is taken is just, again, not meant for me. It's not meant for a lot of people. It's to pertain to the, the casual MMO experience and, and this was a PvP game. And now that you go into the developers' chats and Twitch, you type in PvP, they permanently ban you. What other developer does this? And let's not even talk about the 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 absurdity, the deplorable system of you know the, the crown crates and the crown system, how everything is so overpriced, and how they just want to bring in all these new players and revitalize the ESO just to milk them like a fucking cash cow for their other endeavors they got going on, like Starfield and the Elder Scrolls 6, which will come out in like three or four years. I expect it to be the exact same state the Elder Scrolls Online is. Nothing different, right? And I just, I don't want to continue down this path. The Elder Scrolls Online has been really good to me. Um, I'll play it from time to time. Don't get me wrong, but guys, it's just... It's, I'm just, I don't know if you need to hear this, but ESO is a dead game. It's a fucking dead game, okay? You go on Twitch, there's like 2,000 people watching the Elder Scrolls Online, tops, at any given time. You go s stream charts or Steam charts, there's like 10,000 people on Steam charts, and then, you know, we'll just say another 10,000 on console, plus, you know, who's using the direct launch. You're probably only 20,000 people playing ESO at any given time. And the content, you can just simply blow through in a month. Like, there's no complex systems keeping you engaged in in-game other than cosmetics and housing, which is, uh, you know, money. All about money. Um, like, literally, a month. And you can touch on 90% of the content in the Elder Scrolls Online. That's it. Um, it's, and maybe this is, you know, I've played this game for, for nine years. You know, maybe I just know a lot. You know, all this is easy. And maybe there's a lot of knowledge I'm just taking for granted. But I, I don't really think so. It's a very simplistic game. And it's, it's just not something, you know, I enjoy. PvP is, is, is a shit show. It is terrible. Um, you can't play solo anymore. You can barely play groups. There's only, for example, there, everything feels so bland lately. Like not, not just in life, but in the Elder Scrolls Online. And that's because of hybridization changes. Um, PvE, there's like five sets. All the classes run it. PvP, there's like five good sets. All the classes run it. And if you're not, you're at a super disadvantage. This has made every single class feel identical. Hell, most of the, like some of the classes only use weapon skill lines, like the Stamdom, for example. Like all your buffs are your classes or whatever, but all your damage stuff, like Dawnbreaker, Dizzing Swing, ex Executioner, all, all that's from a weapon skill line, which everyone has access to. The classes aren't fun. PvP isn't fun, and that's that's all I cared about. And yes, so yeah, PvE is cool. You know, just kind of kind of chill. I don't know if you guys know this, but that, that used to be like on the back burner. You know, back in the day, PvP was all the rage. And, you know, you just go and do some dungeons just to get the sets for PvP. You know what I mean? And the dungeons are really cool. Um, but um, the way the game's going, it's just, 
it's, it's a train wreck guys it's it's not meant for us it's 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 meant for the developers at the end of the day to justify to keep their jobs that's why they unionize because microsoft was about to kick the asses out and they unionized so they couldn't so i don't know if you want to continue playing the elder scrolls online you're awesome you know and more power to you it's fun for a lot of people don't get me wrong but me having done this for nine years I've, it's it's just a game i've outgrown I, I i think i think a lot of people kind of feel the same way but they have so much time invested in yes so that they they just can't drop it you know and you know that's that's kind of where i'm at now you know like i said i i have over twelve thousand hours between console and pc invested in eso so how can i possibly get away from that and for for me to keep doing this it's just not healthy i will still play the elder scrolls online but when i want to not because i have to um to be quite frank it stresses me it gives me anxiety it, it makes me so fucking depressed dude like you you have no clue. And again, it's not because of ESO. I mean there's a lot of other things going on, you know, it's just, you know, with me, a lot of people in general, you know, unfulfillment, you know, here I am again, thirty, not not really much to show for it, you know. The college degree, but yeah, you know, who cares? You know, who doesn't, you know what I mean? Like you don't even need a college degree anymore. You can get a GED and you're just gonna be just as successful as anyone with a college degree. I mean that's that's facts. And I I just want to branch out and do something different, guys. Um, and I, I, I know most of you all watch me for the content. You're going to love the content. And, you know, I, I will keep up the content with the Elder Scrolls Online. Um, but not, not as often as I have been. Um, hopefully you guys stick around. Uh, that would be fantastic because I, I love the small community I have here. Like, honestly, you guys are the bomb.com. Like, I love talking to you all on the Discord and the comments and having really engaging conversations. I absolutely love helping helping people out with builds and questions. You know, if you're just coming, to, coming into ESO and this is like your first MMO and you're just kind of getting your feet wet, you know, whatever. Maybe this isn't a genre that you're too accustomed to and you know this is a really good game to jump into um yellow scrolls online has been really good to me but as of late you know past four or five years it's it's not been and it's been heading down into the dirt for a very 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 long time now um not looking to like rub anyone's feathers the wrong way or you know make you feel like your time invested in eso is inadequate or wasted because it's not it, it, it you get in what you put out i feel like me investing more time in the Elder Scrolls Online, I'm, I'm not getting anything out of it. So for, for now, I'm going to kind of step back and, you know, kind of take a break from ESO. Um, there's still going to be plenty of other content here on the channel. And, you know, a lot of different content, a lot of variety content. I think that's what I would like to do best is variety content because I don't want to be tied down to a game's success. For example, I, my channel is built on the Elder Scrolls Online. That success... Of ESO determines the success of my channel. And putting all your eggs into one basket like that is never a good idea. And the success of ESO is in the shitter. So that means inevitably my channel is not going to grow like I want it to do. It's not going to, I'm not going to be able to enjoy the benefits of it. It's just going to be a very small channel and it's really not going to amount to nothing. Uh, unless I branch out or the game picks back up and takes off. It's been nine years, and I doubt that's going to happen. Um, but um, I just want you guys to know that I will still be around. Um, if you need someone to talk to, if you need uh, questions about a build or anything going on in the ESO, I'll still keep up with all, all, all the juicy exploits on the news and stuff like that for you guys. But um, I want to take a step back. For a while so um, when you do see me stream we put out a video you know come by and say hi um but for the time being i yeah so it's just we've outgrown each other you know it's, it's time to rip the band-aid off and just be honest with you guys and, you know st stop lying about stuff man like uh don't lie to yourself like don't don't make yourself do something you don't want to do if you don't want to do it then don't do it if it's going to make you unhappy and sad, this goes for everything. Life, you know, in general. Like, if you're not happy, change something. Do something different. And you don't like your career path, fucking change it. You know? You don't feel like you're making enough? Yeah. What can you, what path can you take to, to make more? 
you know, um, work on yourself as a person, do some charity work, do some volunteer work. Volunteer work is, is, is amazing. Um, but I'm just kind of rambling at this point. And I, uh, yeah, really not, uh, not a lot more to, to say than that, guys. But uh, I'll be around. And uh, if you guys have any questions, just hit me up on the Discord. And uh, yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll talk to you later.